Four or five years ago I made an analog of mesh fusion technology from Moda Package. I named it Fusion. Then it was renamed to Flux. The current product name is Soft Boolean. This add-in allows you to connect different parts of geometry and get soft fillets between them. The main part of the add-in is a node called Soft Boolean. High-level tools are located on a special shelf. First tools create primitives. Let's create a primitive box for example. If the construction plane is activated, then it will be used to locate created primitive. In this case, after using the primitive tool, construction plane will be hidden. This is convenient for quickly positioning objects in space. Let's say I want to combine a ball with a box. First, select the ball. This will be a cutter. Then, with shift key held down, you need to select the object with which you want to combine the cutter. Now select desired tool. Let it be a union operation. Now we can change parameters of the current soft boolean node. For this we can use the soft boolean parms shelf tool. Let's duplicate selected cutter. The previous operation remembered the original object so no needs to select it. After applying the tool, the cutter remains selected. Therefore, we can reopen parameters dialog without going inside the object. You can adjust the node or make a flat with a special shelf tool. The next way to apply cut operation, if we are inside a geometric container, the tool will prompt you to select a source object. Or we can apply the operation to two selected nodes inside SOP container. Let's see what parameters soft boolean SOP has. The first two parameters change the number of subdivisions of cutter and source object accordingly. The next two parameters increase or decrease geometry sharpness. If the input geometry has sharp corners, then these parameters allow you to add additional loops to them. In this case, you do not need to change incoming geometry before soft boolean node. The next parameter changes fillet radius. Next to it is a parameter that changes fillet divisions. In order to make the cut flat, there is a flatness parameter. But, since the soft boolean node creates geometry with vertex normals, in order to get beautiful flat fillet, you need to increase the flatness parameter. Decrease the seam width. Minimize the relax normals parameter and increase the number of fillet divisions. After all these changes, the flat fillet will be accurate. If the cutter has sharp corners, sometimes you need to change path relax settings. These are two parameters. The first parameter smooths the location of the slice profiles along the entire path. And the second parameter smooths profiles and corners. The seam width parameter changes the size of seam between cut and source geometry. The collapse seam parameter collapses small edges. This is sometimes useful if you want to remove small triangles. The relax normals parameter smooths the normals at seam between cut and source geometry. The local normals attribute is useful if you need to work correctly with vertex normals in Maya if the node is being used with Houdini engine. The fillet group parameter creates a fillet group. This option is enabled by default so that when using the soft boolean node tree at the end, you can add a soft boolean finish node. This node uses groups to construct UV maps. You need to use the soft boolean finish tool after the last soft boolean node in the current SOP container. If the type of boolean operation is contour, then contour depth parameter affects the depth of fillet. The simple boolean parameter activates simple boolean display mode. In this case, the node does not need to calculate soft fillet. This speeds up the setup of incoming objects. The refined seam parameter allows you to add additional points to seam. This is useful if cutter has smooth shapes. Such a cutter is, for example, a cylinder. 
we see that there are not enough points at the seam to describe the entire cutting path. If you increase the parameter, then the seam will be more accurate. Do not increase this parameter with more flattened cutters. Let's go through the first group of the soft boolean shelf tools. The first six tools are for creating primitives. These primitives are made of quads and are great for use with the soft boolean node. All of these tools take into account construction plane if it is active. The following three simple tools will help you to improve objects before cutting. The duplicate tool simply copies the selected objects. The sharpen tool adds sharp corners with a polybevel node. To decrease bevel radius launch the tool few times. To increase the radius, launch the tool few times with control key held down. The subdivided tool simply adds a subdivide node to the selected object. To increase the divisions, you need to click on the tool few times. Click with control decreases the number of divisions. These helper tools can be inserted into the node tree in several ways. If some objects are selected at the object level, the tool will create a node for each container. If we are inside SOP container, then the node will be added to the display node. But if you select the node above, the tool will embed the node into the tree without changing current display flag.